All right, hello everybody. My name is Dalton Rudlinger and welcome back to Sellwind. It's been a while. It has truly really been a while, but um, I decided I was just going to sit down today and play some Sailwind. I'm actually just kind of recording this just straight out of the blue, just because I'm kind of bored out of my mind right now, so I figured why the heck not. Uh, I'll play some Sailwind. So we're back at Gold Rock City. Um, I brought the junk back from... Oasis, and we're about to start lo loading up the the brig again, because uh, I found a mission that I can't really pass up, and it's gold, of all things, to Fort Astron. Uh, it's due in 12 days, which may or may not be doable, who the heck knows, um, but we're definitely going to give it a shot, So, and it's paying 20000 Astrin coins like that's that's ridiculous and it's I think I think this is like the most like the highest paying job I've ever seen so far so uh, we are definitely taking that with us and oh it's actually the small crates I was expecting it to be like the bigger bigger boxes huh all right well um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out here and I'll join you guys again whenever I'm fully loaded and ready to cast off okay I think I've got everything I need um, I've got four barrels of water and several a uh, couple barrels of rum I might I'm going to play it safe and just get one or two more barrels of water. I don't think I'm going to need them, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And on top of that, I've got <laughs> I've got the money to spend. So. Might as well just buy two. If I really, really wanted to, I could just buy all those things, but it's kind of the problem with games like this. Like, once you get so much money, it's like, what's the point in really continuing on? Because I've, I've got everything I can get. The only thing that I can't get is the Dow for some reason. Uh, I've gone to... Uh, What the heck is the name of that island? Neverden? Is it Neverden? I've gone to that island to try and get the Dow. I don't know how many times. Yeah, it's Neverden. And I, I just can't buy the Dow for some reason. But whenever we do the next series, which is going to be like the random map series, uh, I think I'm going to choose the Dow as my starting ship, if that's how it works. I haven't like looked into the random start mod, mod at all because I don't want to spoil anything for myself. But I'm assuming you kind of you, you choose the starting ship at least, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Anyway, let's get this ship pointed in the right direction, and we'll start making our way for uh, Fort Astron. So let's cast off. I believe on this route, the wind should be with us for most of the time, so uh, we shouldn't have too much to worry about in that regard. Let's go ahead and lower down this square sail so we can get at least some kind of propulsion. I think I might have lowered that down a little too early, but oh well. We'll just go ahead and lower down the gap sails then. Let's go ahead and start turning on all the lights so you guys can see what's going on.
Okay, I don't think I'm going to make that other turn, so let's just kind of aim between these two islands. I might make that, but I think it's also fairly shallow over there, so let's just play it safe and aim between these two little islands over here. Let's go ahead and unfurl these. So I don't know if I want to do this all in one sitting or not. It's very possible I won't. I might just decide I'm bored, I want to do something else, but it's been a while since I put something on the channel that wasn't the uh, embarrassing Sons of the Forest survival thing that only lasted for like three videos. But um, yeah, Sailwind is what my channel is becoming known for. So I might as well just stick with Sailwind. You know, I honestly don't see any harm in having all of the sails down, at least for now. Because they will catch at least some wind. Let's also go ahead and just have this thing out as well. Go and start making our turn. All right, so we want to be heading to the north by northeast well northeast for sure oh okay we're turning a bit sharper than I was expecting there all right so Kind of turn the ship a bit more. We want to be facing a bit further north than northeast, but not much further than that. Okay. I'm going to say that's probably good. And let's go ahead and... Rotate these sails at least a little bit. We'll start getting these nice and tight. Okay, that's the outer one. Come on. There we go. Okay. Got that one nice and tight as well. And we'll kind of... Uh, angle out the gaff sails a bit too. Not too much, but enough to where then it's not gonna get too much wind that it's gonna capsize. Alright, and here we are on our way. 
nothing but open ocean between us and our destination. I think I will go ahead and release this, though. I have seen some people say that it's a good idea to just release the square cells entirely, which I might experiment with on this particular journey. But we'll have to see. It's already 316. Alright, well, I will see you guys uh, whenever something interesting pops up. Well, there's Gold Rock City all the way in the background already. We're actually kind of flying in this thing. How fast are we actually going? Because it feels like we're moving right on along. Eh, about almost 10 knots. Which <laughs> is not bad for the brig. It's not bad at all. Well, I didn't really stock up on any food, so I guess I might as well start fishing. It's been a while since I've actually done this anyway. It's interesting whenever I re reflect back on to whenever I started the series a few months back. Like, I was struggling for everything back then, but now I've got everything I could possibly need. <laughs> With the naked eye, you can just barely see Gold Rock City back out, out the dis back out there in the distance. You can just barely see it with the uh, side of the monitor, but if we bring up the spyglass, yep, there it is. <laughs> We've definitely come a long way already. When I say already; it's almost four o'clock already. <laughs> But we are making a pretty good little uh, track along. Unfortunately, the ship keeps wanting to go further and further to the north, which is not ideal. I'm doing my best to keep sailing in a straight line to the north-northeast, but it's not easy. <laughs> And yeah, this is pretty much all we have is cargo. Definitely another smaller load, but uh, the 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 pay it's bringing in is not small at all in the slightest. And remind me what my reputation is. Okay, yeah. So Astrid is the only place we're gonna where I'm gonna be able to get uh, missions that go out to Kronos or whatever it is. And that's kind of why I'm trying to get back up to Fort Astrin, is because I want to do that so we can bring this particular series to an end. Alright, well, uh, I will see you guys again whenever uh, things get a bit more interesting. Well, that's great. Storm is forming behind us. There's not another one, is there? 
That'd be worst case scenario. It'd be two storms forming on each other. Ooh, and yeah, there's 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 thunder. In real life, I've actually been uh, having some weather issues lately. Uh, just the other day, we had a tornado warning, and a small tornado actually touched down out north of town. And tornadoes are, for me, especially nerve-wracking, because, like, here's the thing. With a fire, you can at least fight back against the fire. It might be a hopeless cause, it might be a complete and total loss, but the fact is, you can still fight the fire. Tornadoes? There's not a damn thing you can do. You just have to run to your cellar and just hope, pray to God, that your uh, stuff, that just that your house just doesn't get completely destroyed uh, by an angry elephant trunk of nature, basically. <laughs> um... The tornado that did come through, I don't... I, it would have done damage, for sure, but I don't know if it had quite the force to actually, like, rip up a house. It definitely would have, like, uh, caved in some roofs or shattered some windows, but as far as destroying, like, an entire house, I don't know. It's not something I want to test out, either. <laughs> Just get that out of the way right now and this is one thing I absolutely despise about uh, summer in Oklahoma especially is just the chance of getting tornadoes uh, it's just one of those things you have no control over and it sucks Is it just me, or is this storm heading, like, straight for us, too? That angry cloud is definitely getting bigger. <laughs> I might actually go ahead and release these because I think they're not catching as much wind as they could be. Yeah, I think this one's actually going to hit us. We've gotten lucky with the past couple of storms, but I think this one is going to hit us directly on. It's going to come very close. Come on. Stop trying to face north. I'm going to try leaving the wheel like that. See if it helps. Oh, yeah, that is like right on our tail. Yeesh. 
Yeesh, my, that would not be a good sign. <laughs> would not be a sight I'd want to see if I was on board a ship. is still kind of with us. When I say kind of, it's more or less completely with us. <laughs> with the way I've got the sails angled. Ooh, yeah. That would be another interesting thing to add to the game, actually. Would be, uh, I know, I think it's in Sea of Thieves. I'm pretty sure. But if lightning strikes your ship, your ship could catch on fire. That would be interesting. Looks like my door dasher is almost here. I haven't had door dash for a while, so I just decided, you know what? It's it's more expensive, like hands down, but I didn't feel like leaving the house, I'm gonna be honest. I'm having a lazy day. It's not a bad thing, it's good to have a lazy day every now and then. Gives your body a chance to just catch up and relax for a bit. Especially if you work a physical job like mine. For those of you who don't know, I'm a garbage man for my for my city. And uh, needless to say, it's very physically demanding. <laughs> Because it's not like it is where, like, most other cities, where, like, it pulls up next to your trash can and a, and it, an arm comes out of the truck and loads, loads it, and the truck loads itself, basically. It's not like that here. We're swampers on the back, throwing away trash, and this town goes through a lot of trash. I never knew how wasteful people actually were until I got this job. Ooh! That kind of sounded like it was a bunch of dead fish there for a second. It sounds like some... or Yeah. Lightning must have struck the water at some point. Somewhere. Right, well, with my door dasher almost here, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys again whenever something interesting pops up. <laughs> that was funny. I accidentally scared my door dasher. Uh, it looks like the storm is moving on further to the east, which works for me. What doesn't work for me is that the ship is trying to go further north again. Like, seriously, cut that out. Hey, well, once again, I will see you guys in a moment. Well, hey, look at that. The wind is pretty much completely at our back now. That's rare. I suspect it's probably not going to last very long, though. 
be nice if it did. <clears throat> uh, how many days are we into our journey? We are three days in. And sooner or later, I need to check and make sure we're actually heading on the right course. <clears throat> so long as I can see Mount Malefic out in the distance whenever we get closer to Fort Astrin, I'll be happy. Come midday, if I can, I'm going to do a bit of reading with the... Uh, The, uh, the 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 uh, chrono compass is that what this thing is called? I think it's the chrono compass. Um, yeah, unfortunately, <clears throat> this ship in particular is very hard to get readings from because it has so many sails that just block out the sun. So it's not always the easiest thing to get a reading with that thing, but. Come midday, I think that's what I need to do. That's what I need to do today is make sure I'm actually on the right course. So I just checked my latitude. We are at latitude 35, which puts us at uh, the the same latitude as Happy Bay. Um, so we're about halfway to Fort Astron, give or take. This journey is going by pretty fast, all things considered. Of course, the wind has pretty much been with me the entire time as well. <clears throat> I think I need to get my stuff adjusted here. sure I'm still on the right course more or less I could probably turn a bit further to the north not too far though All right. it's probably good enough All right so There we go. All the sails are catching wind once again. Could probably pull these in just a little bit. There we go. I'm scooting the microphone closer to me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Just make sure that my reading wasn't completely off. No, pretty much dead on 35. And I forgot to check out my... Uh, coordinates or latitude with the uh, chronometer, so that's unfortunate, but... Hey, well... Or a chrono compass, excuse me. I called it the chronometer. That is a chronometer. Not the compass. <laughs> right, 
Well, uh, it looks like I'll just join you guys again shortly. Hopefully this video doesn't turn out to be too long. And it's already 5 o'clock, so I've been doing this for a while now. Ooh. The wind's really starting to pick up. Oh, wait, what is that? Uh, still really wishing crow's nests were in the game. I could have swore I saw something sticking out of the water, but I guess it might have been my imagination. Yeah, I think I'm going to lower that top sail again. Or raise it up. <laughs> I keep saying lower when I mean raise things up. Like they're polar opposites, Dalton. What the heck is wrong with you? Um. Considering how much we're kind of listing over, it might be a good idea to raise some of these square sails up. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think I'll keep the middle one down, though. Just to catch a little bit of extra wind. Alright, well, I will see you guys again whenever uh, I have something interesting to report. I think we're at latitude 37 by now, so we're getting closer, for sure. You know, it's one thing whenever there's a single storm out in the distance, right? It's another thing to be caught between two of the bastards. I was really, really hoping I would be able to get a reading today and figure out where the heck I am, but no, it's been like this all day. This is um, not that great of a situation to be in, I'm going to be honest. But hopefully, whenever I wake up, these storms will be gone and it'll be clear skies again. That's all I can hope for, at least. Alright, let's see where we are now. That is the North Star, yep. So, latitude 39. I think Malefic is at 40, isn't it? No, it's at 39. Okay, so we are within the same square. Yet, I don't see Mount Malefic anywhere. Hang on a second. Let's raise up all the sails. And we'll get an idea of what the heck's going on.
Might just need to wait until daytime. I might leave this one down just so we keep moving at least a little bit. The square sail, I mean. So I'm actually very curious. If I'm in 39, then I should have seen Mount Malefic a long time ago. Just want to make sure I don't, like, overpass it or something. both the sails down. I'm gonna climb up here. And hopefully not fall off. See if I can get into Well, I kinda need a spyglass. Thought I had this in my inventory, but never mind. Aye. Mount Malefic anywhere out there. Maybe I went too far north and not up not far enough east. I guess there's only one way to find out. Well, the good news is we still have five days to get to our destination. Bad news is... I'm, I'm full up on my sleep. And it's still sometime in the middle of the night. Yeah, it's only like 4.30. So we still got a ways to go until the sun rises, so I can see out into the distance and see where the heck we are. Uh, navigation in this game can be so fun sometimes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. It's much more interesting than just looking at a GPS or something like an American truck simulator, but sometimes whenever you just want to kind of kick back and relax, it does add a bit of uh, extra stress to the game, and is that...
If I'm within viewing distance, it should be popping up before too long. I'm starting to think I might just not have gone far enough east. Might be a wise idea is to start turning eastward. Let's see where that gets us. I keep thinking I see something out on the horizon, but I, it's just a it's just my imagination playing tricks on me. Actually, where are we in terms of... Hmm. I'm not just being an idiot, am I? Like, we're actually just, like, right on top of it, and I'm just not looking in the right direction? That would be a very Dalton thing to do, to be fair. I can tell, no, it's just not out here yet. Huh. Unfortunately, I'm kind of running low on food supplies. Should have enough to make it to Fort Astron, though. Right, well, I will see you guys again whenever Mount Malefic comes into view, I guess. Okay, yeah, if I'm reading this right, it looks like I just didn't go far enough to the east. Because we are at lon lat uh, yeah, longitude zero. And I believe we want to be at longitude either one or two. So yeah, Mount Malefic is no longer gonna, no longer going to appear like over in that direction. It's going to appear like straight ahead of us now. If I'm reading that right, which I think I am. <laughs> I'm a little rusty because it's been a while since I played this last. Let's see here. Yeah, Mount Malefic is at three, actually. So, yeah, we've still got a ways to go, in all fairness. Now, if my ship would stay in course... It would be really, really nice. Yeah, just turn completely to the east. All 
right now it should appear straight ahead of us at some point sooner or later all right and yeah wow I started this at like two o'clock this afternoon it's already almost seven it's ridiculous hello would that happen to be what I think it is yes it would be yeah, so that's what happened, is I just didn't go far enough to the east. I like the Chrono Compass. It is probably by far the most useful item. Easily the most expensive, granted, but... I can never get the the clocks down. Like, I'm, I'm just so bad at math that I just I couldn't do the clocks. <clears throat> they are, if, if you're new to the whole series and this is your first video, or if you're new to Selwind or whatever, uh, the clocks are like the earliest tool to help you use or to help you know what l longitude you're at. But it, it's kind of... For me, at least, it's hard to kind of wrap my brain around how they're supposed to work. If I wasn't such a klutz at math, I could maybe be, I could maybe uh, do them properly, but... I'll try and explain a little bit once I... Uh, that's the wrong thing. I'll k kind of try and explain it explain it a little bit whenever I get done messing with the sails here. I'm gonna try and just aim like straight for Fort Astron. Alright, then you can come down. Let's get you angled to where you're catching a bit more wind. problem is that wind is blowing into the sail so much that the ship is starting to list towards the right. Anyway, uh, the way the the clocks work is, um, I'm just kind of going off the top of my head right now, but I believe longitude zero is like dead noon, right? So that, that that's like central time on the map. And for every uh, extra point in longitude, like, say if you're at longitude 2, right, uh, whenever it's noon at the local time at the 2 square, your clock would read, um, 12.08, I believe, because every four minutes of difference indicates a different uh, point, in lat uh, point in longitude. So if you were at uh, square negative two, it would be 11.52, if that makes any kind of sense. And my brain just doesn't really comprehend that very well whenever I'm trying to actually put it into practice. It sounds simple on paper, but whenever you're trying to actually like do it, it's it's a bit more complex than, <laughs> than what I can process. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm an idiot. I, I will wholeheartedly admit I am an idiot. <laughs> I got a high school diploma and that was it. I said to heck with everything else. I think I might be going a little bit too far to the north here. I just want to get there and get this video over with. All right, so I'll see you guys whenever we're closer to uh, either Mount Malefic or 
to Fort Astron. See you then. I do believe that over there is Fort Astron. Kind of let it sneak up on me while I was watching YouTube. <laughs> oh well, whatever. So this took a little less than five hours. I believe normally this would take about six or so, but uh, I happen to have a pretty good win most of the time, so... There's that much going for me, at least. How long has this video been going on for? It's been going on for eh, less than an hour. That's not bad. I have obviously left a lot of this just out of the video. <laughs> That's kind of the bad thing about this game is that there's not a lot to see other than just like the occasional storm or something. I'm, I'm really waiting for the day whenever there might be whales or something that like come up next to the boat to like uh, breathe or something or maybe dolphins kind of jumping alongside the front of the ship or something like that I mean hey even just like a random island that you just kind of bump into or something like that'd be a bit more interesting in my opinion just like out in the middle of the ocean somewhere one of these days, what I need to do is I need to just, like, head off over here in this direction and just see if, like, someone... And just see if, like, something is out there that just hasn't been discovered or something. Or maybe there's something, like, way off in, like, this direction, like, over here, like, far off to the west or something like that. I know that's kind of a ongoing thing in the Discord discussions, which I kind of tune into every now and then. I'm not really a big social media guy. YouTube is pretty much the only social media I have. Uh, cause, just because I think social media is basically just poisoning society. But um, I am glad to see that additional maps or uh, archipelagos are <clears throat> some of like the most requested things because just sailing back and forth from Astrin to Gold Rock City or Astrin to uh, the Emerald Archipelago it's interesting at first but eventually you just kind of learn the route so well that you're gonna know whether or not you're like too far west, too far north, too far south, too far east like I was earlier in the video. There's just like not that much left. Like the feeling of exploration is basically just gone in my opinion. Because once you get so much money and so much reputation, it, the game is basically beaten. Especially after you, like, go out to Kronos and you buy the Brig, the biggest boat in the game. Um, which I think the next video will be us going out to Kronos if, it's, if there's a mission for it available. Because uh, I think it's time we bring this series to an end. That way I can finally say, like, hey, you know what? I've actually completed, like, an actual series on my channel. There was the, uh... Playthrough of... Star Wars Empire at War as the Confederacy. That I did a couple years back. That one was technically complete. But a lot of my Elder Scrolls series and things, that they just... They were never finished. A lot of that just kind of comes down to uh, I lost interest for the most part. The, those are games that I've played 
so much that I just kind of lose interest in them. Like Oblivion, uh, I played that game ever since 2007, and I've pretty much done everything there is to do in that game. It's, uh, it, unless I install mods, there's nothing to really keep the game fresh for me. I'm just kind of repeating the, ex the exact same thing that I've always done. I've thought about doing like a playthrough of Oblivion on the hardest difficulty, but I don't know. I, I need to find something that's going to keep my attention for long enough to where I can actually beat it. Uh, there was the whole Jessica. Uh, that is... Well, I can go ahead and raise that up, I suppose. There was the whole Jessica playthrough with Skyrim that kind of got... To be fair, that one got abandoned because I got a new computer and I didn't want to go through the trouble of, like, reinstalling all the mods and all that kind of crap. Um, and on top of that, having to figure out, like, where and how I was going to install uh, or continue with the game at all whatsoever. Might be kind of a bummer, but I mean, the games have been played to death. I mean, especially with Skyrim. I don't know what additional content I could have provided that somebody else hasn't already. There is one game that I'm really looking forward to coming out, though. It's uh, it's a uh, War of the Worlds horror game where you play as a human with all the tripods walking around and from what I've seen it looks downright terrifying and I'm all for it really and I actually saw that Amnesia the Dark Descent uh, has a Steam Workshop now so maybe I'll kind of mess around with that a little bit as well I think I might be waiting too long to make this turn. Eh, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, I think I definitely waited too long. Well, if it wasn't for the Bowsprint, I'd probably make this turn all right, but uh, the Bowsprint is definitely going to mess things up. Or... Maybe not, actually. Well, I'm not going to make that, but... Oh, just barely. Alright, you need to come over here, Mrs. Ship. It's actually starting to get really warm in my house. I'm trying to keep my air conditioner at a fairly high temperature, just so my electricity bill doesn't just rate me. <laughs> Because um, that's the worst thing about summer for me is my electricity bill. Actually, how much are these going to raise raise my income? I think I was at twenty thousand before, so that was eight thousand right there. Uh, that was 4,000. I 
Okay, that was 3,000. These aren't late, are they? No, they've still got four days to go. It's possible I was just miscounting. Like, like I said earlier in the video, I'm just terrible at math. Um, all right, so that is mission complete for that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a drink of water real quick. And now what I need to do is I need to check and see if there is a mission that goes to Kronos. No. At least not yet, anyway. Uh, let me sleep real quick, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, it is the dawn of a new day. Let's see here. Happy Bay, Happy Bay, Happy Bay. Overrock City... Aha! Doing 80 days. For only 980 Eastern Crowns. Thirty-eight north by twenty-two east. Okay, so all I'd have to do is I just need to go down south a ways and then just head straight east don't go any further don't don't go any further north or south than 38 okay was there another one no, there's just this one. Okay, let's go ahead and accept that. All right, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last hurrah of the series. But I'm not going to be doing this today because I do not have enough time. Another couple of hours, I'll need to start getting ready to go to bed, so this will probably be the main thing I tackle, and in in maybe I'll do kind of bits and pieces of it throughout the week. I'm not sure yet. But 38 north, 22 east. That's going to be a ways out, because... Like, this thing only goes technically to longitude 6. So, yeah. Okay. 
And I think that's going to be what I do, is I just head straight south whenever I depart. I'll get the latitude 38, then just head straight east. And try not to go any further north or south from there. All right. Well, kind of hard to believe I'm actually here, to be honest, because um, I've always heard rumors about this Kronos place, but I didn't think I'd ever actually get to the point where I was going to be the one doing it. So kind of hard to believe. Uh, and this is going to be the last hurrah of the series. So strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know when I'm going to get, get around to, pl to recording this because... This weekend, this coming weekend, is actually my birthday, and my family wants to do a lot of things for my birthday, so um, might not be a lot of content in the coming week, but maybe the week after, or maybe even the weekend after, uh, next weekend. Uh, I, I'll probably have enough time to actually sit down and start recording again. But uh, for right now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where I'm going to leave you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you want to see more Selwyn, please subscribe to the channel. My, up my uploading scheduling is kind of wonky these days. Um, but I'm not giving up on the channel anytime soon. Because uh, once we get done with this series, I'm planning on doing like a random start series where I'm pretty much going to be doing the exact same thing. But the random start series, I'm hoping, will make things a lot more interesting. And I'm hoping we can at least finally buy the DAO uh, with, with the random start as well. And maybe, you know, in the series we'll do, maybe like later... In, Later on into the future, we might do a couple of series where, like, I'm strictly forced to say, like, the smaller boats, like the Dow with a cog and, oh, God, heavens forbid, the the Kakam, <laughs> the starter boat you get at Emerald Archipelago, but um, could be some interesting things we see in the future. Uh, but until then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, take care, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.